Um, I'm Jane from Penn, and I'll be staying in Philly next year. And if you know anything about me, um, you know I love to bake. Um, consider the ingredients I've been with me, which are usually flour, sugar, butter, etc. None of them are that good on their own, but it's when you combine them in a certain amount and manner that they become something alright. Um, and pre-college, I kind of treated my life like a baking project. If I wanted to produce something, I just needed the right ingredients and recipe. And my people-pleasing self thought that I could get my parents and friends to respect me as long as I had high achievements, gone to a good school, and did important things. And so that's what I pursued. I lined everything up, um, but things didn't quite go my way. I ended up going to a school I considered my safety, uh, which was not done, <laughs> obviously. Uh, uh, um, I came to Davis. Uh, I transferred from Mason Davis. Um, but I came to Davis with so much pride as though I were more deserving than the other students. But God humbled me in the most gracious and loving way by surrounding me with incredibly kind, intelligent, and God-fearing people that still remain my closest friends today. And it was only after my idols of prestige and people-pleasing dissolved that God opened um, doors for me to transfer. And at the same time, I had some pretty scary experiences serving in my campus fellowship back in Davis. Um, there was a lot of pressure from the staff um, and their fixation on numbers and metrics for a small group. And my relationships with them felt very genuine and transactional. So when I left Davis, I had pretty mixed feelings. I was sad to leave my friends, but I was pretty jaded by my fellowship um, and relieved to move. Um, so I came into Penn as a junior just last year, um, but really I felt completely like a freshman again. And for what happened with my fellowship in Davis, I was pretty cautious going into church. I told myself not to get too involved and instead pursue my faith alone for the time being. And I was just overwhelmed by how big GCC was. Um, so I was pretty sad about coming back after coming like once or twice. Um, and meanwhile in school, I looked around me and everyone else seemed to have a social circle secured and everything figured out. Um, and to bring back my analogy of baking, it was like people already had their cakes in the oven while I was just figuring out what to bake. Um, and I quickly got vacuumed into um, the abyss of the OCR suite and swept away by talk of big and adulty things that I just didn't quite understand. Um, but one night when the servants team um, of my family group last year knocked on my door unannounced to deliver a care package, I never felt so loved by people that I didn't even yet know. And I didn't come to family, or I couldn't not come to family group uh, just once after that, but then I kept coming back and so um, here I am. And every week my family group pointed me back north it was where I connected genuinely with siblings in Christ and was reminded of God's hand in bringing me here. Little by little and unknowingly at first, my jaded heart was softened by my family group leader's genuine care for us, and I felt poured into a way that I never, or I was poured into in a way that I never got to experience as an underclassman. GCC was the one welcoming place on campus where people actually wanted to be friends regardless of whether I had networking value or anything to offer them. And so thank you, GCC, for welcoming me. Even the smallest of conversations during post-service mingling sessions meant so much to me. And I still don't quite, or I still don't quite know why God heard my request two years ago and brought me here. But I do know that I've been increasing in my desire to know and love Him more through the help of this community. And if I've learned anything in undergrad, it's this: I know I no longer want to treat God like sprinkles on a cake, like I did before. In fact, I don't even want him to be a part of the cake. I want him to be my baker, the one who decides what kind of a cake I am, what I look like, and what I'm made of. And if he's the baker of the heavens and the earth, then we're just a piece of cake. Amen. <laughs>